Propaganda has been around for many, many years, if not even past to the centuries. From World War II all the way through to the Cold War, it has been highly influential to get rallies of citizens behind your cause. The differences in propaganda, as opposed to generalized advertising, is that propaganda usually has some level of political message. That being said, though, anything that you are trying to do to instill an idea into somebody else, namely your idea, can be considered as propaganda. For this particular project, you are going to find a cause that you feel strongly for, whether it be a modern cause or an age-old cause. It does not have to be uh, school appropriate. It also doesn't even have to be all that serious. After you've chosen your idea, you're going to begin using materials. It's smaller than what you guys are working on. This is what I'm going to make a propaganda poster for. I think we all need more pancakes. I think that's what I'm going to fight for. So, I have my poster here, okay? Now, uh, the twist for this particular project is how we're going to color it. So basically. Even though your posters are going to be much larger than my demonstration, the twist or key to this project is the different materials or mediums that you use. Anything from pencil to colored pencil using rulers, markers, glue, and scissors are all able to be incorporated, as well as older materials such as crayons, cut paper, even doing a mosaic using cut magazine pieces. But don't forget about the number one thing that you may want to use, and that's the world around us. Go outside. Use odd materials that may not be regularly used within the art room. It's up to you what materials and mediums that you use. The key is you must use a certain number of them within your piece.